Hey my lip thins. Um, I wanted to do I need to do a quick a few videos actually. Hopefully I have the time to bank out all of them um this week. But I, I do want to talk about um well first let me start with some wrestling videos. Or well, technically wrestling related because Nikki Bella, well, Nikki Garcia to be more specific, is no longer um in the wrestling business. Um she goes by Nikki Garcia, but for the sake of what we know her for, I'm going to call her Nikki Bella. Um, so this was brought to my attention, actually. So Nikki was apparently on a podcast, I believe. And I guess she was very, um, and I, and I'm, and I'm, this is just a quote. I didn't look at the video cause I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't care to go watch the interview on the podcast, but, <coughs> um, Nikki, I guess, is very annoyed that um, WWE didn't give her and I guess her sister, I guess both of them because they're both a brand, um, didn't give them the right to use the name, the last name Bella, because that's what they built their brand off of. And that's what WWE, I mean, WWE owns the name, right? So WWE ends up giving anyone that comes into the, most of the, most of them, not all of them. Um, cause some people come in with their regular names, but Nikki, Nikki Garcia, who came into the wrestling business and, you know, WWE gave them the name Nikki Bella cause they felt that it sounded, it, it was more marketable. It was more profitable. So, you know, like any business, once, um, the Bella twins left the, um, wrestling business left WWE, they were like, well, um, y'all can no longer use the name Bella twins or Nikki Bella or Brie Bella. Cause now we own the name. Now apparently Nikki Bell, Nikki Bella, or Nikki Garcia, whatever, um, had an issue with that, and this is what she had to say. This is what she had to say. She said, "It says here, this is from Sportskeeda. It says here, Nikki Bella reveals upsetting way that WWE officially ended its ties after her contract expired." I'm gonna just go to the tweet. I'm gonna go to the quote. It says here, this is Nikki's quote. She said, "I'll be honest. I got a lawyer letter four hours before my con my contact." My contract or contract? My contract was ending. They were seizing it all. I keep that letter in my office so I can always see it and just know that I know that as I entered this new chapter, it's like I get to see what wasn't even talked about was something I built for 20 years. But I know that I have the power as a woman to build something else for the next 20 years. It was upsetting because we were attached, but also... I get a business like, hey, this is our platform. I get it. I'm very understanding in that way. That is their IP. But we would have continued to to have built that if there was a talk. Here's my thing. Now, I, I think, uh, listen, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, I actually do like the Bella Twins. Like, I grew, I'm, and I actually think I might do a video about this sooner Maybe, I don't know when, I, I have to be in the mood to make it, but I do connect with the, the, the divas, like the divas back then, like, you know, the Eves and the, the Bella Twins and the Kelly Kellys and the, you know, that like Beth Phoenix, Natalia, like Lay Cool, those were my girls, okay, I, I really don't connect with these new girls in WWE, like the 2023 divas, I mean, now they're called wrestler. I don't know. They call female wrestlers. I don't know. I don't connect with these girls the same way I connected with the, you know, the Bella Twins era of the girls. So let me just say that. I like them. But I, I don't like, because some of the stuff that, especially if you read between those lines, she's trying to put out like a a little dog whistle. Like this is like a, a woman thing. Like, oh, like WWE took her and her sister's name because they're women. And they and she even said a quote here that they don't do the same to the men. I, there's a quote. Hold on. Hopefully I can find a quote. She did say something like, oh, they, uh, like, they had, like the way they took it away was very, very, it's not the same way that they do it to the men. And I was just like, girl, huh? I was just like, I, I don't have the quote, but y'all guys can go look it up. <coughs> she was just like, she, um, she feels like, you know, they don't have, they didn't, the way that they took her name away, she feels like it wasn't the same way that they do to the men. And I'm just like, girl, what, what? And there's no shades to Nikki Bella, but what are you talking about, girl? 
what are you talking about? And this is one of the, th these are one of the, my pet peeves. And it's like, listen, I'm all for calling out misogyny. I do it all the time on my channel. I call out misogyny a lot on my channel. I call out racism a lot on my channel. I call out, you know, these fucked up ass men on my channel. But it's like, what we're not going to do is we're not always going to use, you know, sexism, misogyny, or, you know, mis whatever, when in, in certain situations where that has nothing to do with what is going on here. First of all, her own brother-in-law, Brian Danielson, can't even use the name Daniel Bryan in AEW. And guess what? Daniel Bryan is a way bigger name than Brian Danielson. Let's can we just keep can we just be honest? Can we just be honest? WWE owns the name Daniel Bryan. And that's her own brother-in-law. He can't even use his name that he used in WWE. Edge, Adam Copeland, who just went to AEW, can't even use the name Edge because guess what? WWE owns that name. Like Christian. Christian can't even use the name just pure because he has to use what is it now? Christian Cage or something? It, just, it don't even have the same kind of spice with that. Christian sounds like a way better thing. But WWE owns that name. Like nobody can go to a different area. Like you listen, if you want to cut your ties with WWE, if you want to go your separate ways and contract is ended, you want to do your own thing, you want to build your reality TV show. Okay, go do that. But at the end of the day, this is business, girl. This is business. And at the end of the day, you sign a contract that, hey, WWE can use my stage name. And at the end of the day, Nikki Bella, the Bella Twins, is a stage name. And WWE is the one that copyrighted the name, got the licensing for it, got the IP for it, and th that's their shit. At the end of the day, they own that name. So it's like, you can't be mad that... And I know people are going to point out The Rock or... I know some people are saying John Cena. I'm like, but John Cena is his name. Like, John Cena is, that's his real name, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> There's only a few people that can use, it's only very few wrestlers, honestly, that have their real names in wrestling, like Brock Lesnar, John Cena. Yeah, just just those two I, I, that I can remember. I think Randy Orton, too. Randy Orton is his real name. Yeah, or Randall, or whatever. Like, those are his real name. Those are their real names. But, like, is majority of the wrestlers have stage names. They have names that are given to them by the WWE. So, unless Nikki Bella goes to fucking do, like, what the Ultimate Warrior did when he went to go change his, his name from, I forgot, well, I forgot what his old name was, um, Hellwig or something, and change it to Warrior to get some, to get some coin out of it. Girl, there's no, I mean, let, let's just be honest. Nikki, Be the reason why Nikki Bella is upset about this, it doesn't have to do with her being a woman or anything like that. It has to do with the fact that she can no longer, her and her sister can't bring attention to their reality TV show with the name Garcia because they haven't built a brand off of the name Garcia for the last 20 years. It's always been Bella. So people don't know Nikki Garcia. People know Nikki Bella. People don't know Brie Bella. They know I mean, people don't know um, Brie Garcia. They know Brie Bella. So that's why they're upset. Honestly, the reason... And she's also upset that nobody's watching this reality TV show. Who Who's watching the Garcia show? Not me. I mean, I would have been probably reacting to it on my channel, but I haven't been watching the Garcia show. Like, I I, I don't care to. You know what I mean? It's just like... I, it's like I had... I, I watched the Total Divas at the time when it was on, when it was hot and popping, but, like, that has ended. It's just like I'm... You know, we've grown at this point. So... <coughs> I think that's really why she's mad, uh, and I think that she just threw the women card in there just to, you know, just to make it, to, to have some, a few of her supporters come out, oh yeah, it's because she's a woman, it's like, no, mama, e even the men can't profit off their name, these men can't go out, they're like, unless they trademark the name and stuff, or they go, uh, or they go tra uh, change their name, they can't even go by the name, that the, their stage name that the WWE gave them, it just, it is what it is, sis. And I know people are gonna point out, oh well, The Rock uses The Rock and uh, WWE, but I think I don't know that whole situation. I think first of all, The Rock made WWE way more money and brought way more eyeballs to the WWE than the Bella Twins did. Let's keep it a stack, okay? And if we're just keep it, we're just being honest here. The The Rock is on a different level, and I don't even want to compare The Rock and the Bella Twins like that, like because this is not that, like. I understand maybe the Bellatrons did probably bring a few, like, a few of them. Maybe very, very few because the ratings still didn't go up when the Bell Twins was on WWE TV. But maybe a few reality TV people. But other than that, like, I, I don't, I don't. 
the reason why the WWE allowed Dwayne Johnson to use The Rock is because they knew that when The Rock would transition into Hollywood, they know that the people in Hollywood is also going to be like, okay, who, what is going on here? Who is The Rock? What is, where did he come from? And they thought, you know, it will transition into them watching the WWE. Nobody, like, can we, and this is no shade to Nikki Bella. Nobody is looking at Nikki Bella in 2023 when she goes into reality TV and, and them, like, looking at her and being like, oh, who is this? Where did she come from? And we're going to go watch the WWE. It's just, no, no, no. First of all, reality TV is dead right now in 2023. Like, it's just, it's not the same like how it used to be uh, even 10 years ago. So, I think that, you know, Nikki is just upset that she can't make her coin the same way that she did when she was, uh, when she was Nikki Bella or the Bella Twins. And now she's upset. And um, now she has to go by her real name, which is Garcia. And, it, I mean, there's nothing really to say about it. I mean, just, girl, just say it. Just say that. Just say There's nothing wrong was saying that you want more money like you want more coin you want to profit off your money like just say that why you gotta use the woman card girl that was just so unnecessary but listen i like the bella twins i like nikki i like brie i think you know at the time when the, when total divas was on in the very first those those first few seasons i was watching you know they were entertaining so but you know shout out to her hopefully her show does well but i sure so won't be watching because i don't care to um next I want to quickly talk about Billy Corgan. So I, so here's the thing. I feel like every like every day someone is calling out Dave Meltzer. Like Dave Meltzer is really really divisive in the rest of the community. And I know that <coughs> he has a lot of support. You know, people do subscribe to the newsletter and whatever, whatever. But like there, there's a lot of people, like highly respected people, people that have been in the business for a very long time that like they're saying that Dave Meltzer is full of shit. Like he's just like the worst. Like he's even even Eric Bischoff. I was watching Eric Bischoff's his um You know, I watch all these podcasts. Like I said, I watch Jim Cornette, I watch 83 Weeks, I watch Vince Russo, I watch so many different people. And, and when when you see Jim Cornette Eric Bischoff and Vince Russo in unison agreeing that Dave Meltzer was terrible for the wrestling business, then baby, <laughs> imagine no, all three of those people do not get along. Jim, Eric, Vince, they, like Vince Russo, they don't get along with each other. But yet they're all in agreement that Dave Meltzer is like the worst person in the world. I don't know. I don't know. So they, um, so, okay. I'm, be, I'm paraphrasing throughout this whole thing. Billy Corgan um, did an interview. He was on um, Kurt Angle's show on his podcast, Kurt Angle's podcast. <laughs> and Billy Corgan um, discussed Dave Meltzer. It's a whole, it's a whole clip. If you guys want to go watch it, it's on um, Kurt Angle's channel. Billy Corgan discussed his, um, the situation, like, I guess, like, his, him not respecting Dave Meltzer and his reporting and the fact that he doesn't believe that Dave Meltzer is a real journalist and that sort of thing. Um, and basically, he said that, you know, Dave Meltzer will make up a lot of stories about Billy Corgan and, and, and some of the things, some rumors and that sort of thing. Like, Dave Meltzer was, was steered the pot about him. And the thing is, what Billy Corgan said was that Dave Meltzer legit knows him. Like, Dave Meltzer has his number. He has his email. It's like, if Dave Meltzer wanted to get confirmation or to confirm certain rumors that are out there about Billy Corgan. D Billy Corgan just said, why don't you just call me? Why don't you just email me about it? Like, why are you, like, why are you putting out stories talking about old sources close to Bill Billy Corgan when you, Dave Meltzer, you have my number. You can just call me and, 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 and like, I can confirm or deny the rumor. So, and on top of that, he said that how Dave Meltzer um, won't cover anything, um, NWA, even though he's a quote unquote wrestling journalist, it's like, okay, if you're a wrestling journalist, journalist, you're supposed to be covering all of wrestling, not just AEW, not just WWE, um, NWA is out there, Impact Wrestling is out there, even though they might not be on the same level, but at the end of the day, those are still wrestling, um, wrestling companies, and then on top of that, um, NWA just got, um, a TV rights deal, now they're about to be on, uh, CW, network so Dave so basically what he was saying that you know Dave at the end of the day he has his biases and he's opinionated 
And he, he respects the fact that, you know, he does believe that Dave Meltzer is a fan of, of wrestling and the wrestling business. And he believes he's a historian, but he just doesn't believe that he's a journalist. And I'll be honest with y'all, I agree with Billy Corgan when he says that. Even though I don't know, I, like, I don't, I'm, I don't read the newsletters or anything like that. That's not my cup of tea. Like, I just, I don't. Like, if the hardcore stands want to do that, I can do that. I just, uh, you know, I'm, no. <laughs> I'm not subscribing to someone that has been pointed out to be a liar multiple times. It's just, it's just, that's just me, but to each his own. Um, here's the thing. Dave Meltzer has been called out many, 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 many times for being biased, for lying, for stirring up rumors, for stirring up shit within all these wrestling companies. You know, he's known to be biased. If and I've heard I, and and this is just according to some of the podcasts I've been listening to. I remember I was watching. Um, I was watching. I think it was a Bruce Pitcher's podcast. It was like it was like a few years ago. I was watching a particular episode. I think it was like a, a Sable episode that Bruce Pitcher was doing, and uh, I guess Comrade Thompson, who's like a huge fan of Dave Meltzer, I think he likes Dave Meltzer's reporting, and. When Conrad Thompson was like, you know, telling Bruce some of the things that Dave was writing about Sable at, during the time of, in, during the 90s and stuff like that, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all, it, it was disgusting. It was disgusting, some of the things that Dave Melson was saying about um, Rita Lesler. Like, it it was just, it was, it, it was very, very mean. And it, honestly, it was kind of, it was giving me bullying tease. I have to keep it aside. And I'm just like, and when when Con and I'm like, whoa, this is a journalist talking about a a, a female like a female wrestler like this. Like, what what is this a journalist or is this someone who's like you know a blogger? I can understand if if Dave Meltzer comes out as a blogger and is like 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 us, like we have our own opinions, we have our own biases. But he's the way Dave Meltzer has positioned himself. He's positioned himself to be a quote unquote journalist. So I'm like, okay, you're a journalist, but yet you're you're implicitly putting out your biases like that, and then on top of that, you're insulting other wrestlers, and then on top of that, you're being misogynistic and sexist towards female wrestlers. No, ma'am. So that, I already kind of got the vibe from Dave Meltzer, but the way this man has been called out, and it continues to be called out by Eric Bischoff, by Jim Cornette, by Vince Russo, Kurt Ang you know, they're saying, and even on that episode where Billy Corgan was on, Billy Corgan was saying how, no, Kurt Angles is um the guy that hosts this Kurt Angle show was like oh um Dave Meltzer has never gave Kurt Angle a five star match or that sort of thing and listen I don't give a damn I don't even know why I give so much importance to five star matches like shut the hell up with that like who cares like even with that it's just that there's a lot a lot of dirt and a lot of sliminess that comes from Dave Meltzer and he doesn't seem to be well respected and the only people that's like uplifting and putting Dave Meltzer on a pedestal is Tony Khan and the, and the AEW uh, people. Because, listen, let's be very clear. Tony Khan and uh, Dave Meltzer, they both suck each other's dick. Like, they both kiss each other's assholes. And so they, they're always going to be, you know, having circle jokes around five-star matches and who's the book of the year and blah, 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 blah. So, listen, while I'm glad that Billy Corgan called out Dave Meltzer, at this point, just... Just leave it alone. Who like at this point, leave Dave Meltzer to be his markish self over there with the AEW marks, wrestling marks, whatever. But I am happy he called him out because it's like, it's like sir, like. Ugh. But then again, you know it is crazy because it's like it, in a way, it had to take Billy Corgan to call this man out. It's like people been calling out Dave Meltzer, but yet nobody was listening. People say, oh, da, da, but I, I mean, I guess to each his own. But, um, yeah, so y'all guys tell me what y'all guys think in the comment section below. How do you guys feel about Billy Corgan's comments towards Jim, Dave Meltzer? How do you guys feel about Nikki Bella? Uh, AKA, a <laughs> AKA Nikki Garcia wanted to take, wanted to get the Bella, the, the name Bella to have, to get, you know, to gain profit and to promote her the reality TV show that nobody's going to watch. It's no shade. Um, but please like, comment, and subscribe, 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 subscribe. Please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Let's get up to 700 subscribers, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.